Today we are opening some absolutely insane products. What's up guys, we are back with another epic video. Today we are opening absolutely awesome stuff. Before that, we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite pack or card from the opening. Hopefully we get some absolutely awesome ones. First of all, I have to start out with a note. What's up, Ruxin? Been a fan of your channel since the Enemy of Justice openings. Long time fan then. Grateful for what you do. Provides me so much joy. Hopefully you can pull some fire for me. Drew E. Drew E actually sent two packs for us to open. You're like, two packs? What, what's the big deal? They are first edition Invasion of Chaos. And not only that, he said he weighed them. I've never weighed Invasion of Chaos, so I don't know how accurate it is. And these are supposed to be the heaviest of the packs he had. We could see Blackluster Soldier. We could see Dark Magician of Chaos. We could see the Chaos Emperor Dragon. It could be crazy today, but hold your horses. That's not it. We also have a Legacy of Darkness pack for Lenny L. He got this on at Ruxin34.com. And finally, for myself, I have 10 OTS 16. Hopefully, we'll pull that Cyber Dragon alternate our ultimate rare. And then a mini box of Retro Pack 2 because you know we're opening an entire box of this for 100,000. Let's get a little taste of it and get excited for that big video at 100,000. So we are going to start off with the Legacy of Darkness first edition pack for Lenny L. Still has not been anything insane pulled from this box. We haven't had a secret rare or anything. So hopefully we will pull that for him and then we'll get into my packs and we'll finish off with those Invasion of Chaos packs. Let's go. Super Rejuvenation. We've got Otohime. Bad reaction to their dinner. The Robo Lady. And finally, a Dragon's Bead. Robo Yar, we got the Fiend Comedian. Wolf Axe Widow and the Secret of the Bandit. Okay. Thanks again, Lenny, for getting a pack on the website. I do have more packs as well as lots of packs available on Ruxin34.com if you guys are interested. But let's get into my packs. Let's see if we can pull the legendary Cyber Dragon. There's also Forbidden Droplet Ultimate Rare in here. We got the Drytron Delta Altaeus. Only 10 packs here, so this is going to go quick. There are only three cards per pack, so... We're really looking for a big hitter. It's about 1 in 20 packs to get one, so we have about a 50% chance to pull an ultimate rare. But there are three different ones, so it might not be the one we're looking for. Gen Genator Transverser. Okay. Let's do this. Come on. Cosmic Flare. We got the Royal Magical Library. Tri-Brigade Nerval. This was a pretty good one. I think they reprinted it in the 10, so kind of killed the value there. But it was like 9 bucks when it came out. Stardust Flash, we got the Reptilian Hydra. Phonon Pulse Dragon, not Photon, the Phonon. All right, Phonon. Next pack. So far, nothing too crazy. We got the Lion Alligator, Pet in the Dark Clown. Drytron Delta Altaeus. I'm sure that's pretty good, because Drytron's pretty good, unless it's just not a very good one. All right, we have Stardust Wish, Miracle Dig. Mausoleum of the Emperor, super rare, very nice. Three more packs. Royal Magical Library. Lord British Space Fighter. Cyberstein Super Rare. You love to see it. Was the first hollow printing, I think, like ever. I'm trying to win well, besides the uh, Shonen Jump. So, yeah, pretty cool. We've got the uh, Breath of Acclamation, Cosmic Flare. And Virtual World Gate Quinglong. I think that's pretty good, too. Two more packs. Will we get that Cyber Dragon? Let's go. We'll probably be opening these in some of the live stream to 100,000, so hopefully Token Stampede. We'll pull one then if we don't hear. One more pack, and then we get into the absolutely crazy packs. We've got Miracle Dig. Lion Alligator. Genator Transverser. Okay, so hopefully we will pull that Cyber Dragon in the future. Not this time. Okay, the moment has arrived. Retro Pack 2. Eight of these will be open at 100,000. So one today, eight more later. Let's see what we can pull out of this sucker. All right, I think it was already kind of ripped when I bought it, but these should be sealed inside. Let's see. We have the Gores, the Emissary of Darkness on the back. Very nice card. All right, very nice looking card. It looks like the condition actually stayed pretty good as well. There's a little bit of a line and dot up there, but that's okay. That's actually really nice looking. Now we have three packs. We are searching for the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon Secret Rare. There's also also there's also a few other awesome secret rares that we could pull as well, like Light and Darkness Dragon, Dragon Master Knight, Harpy's Pet Dragon, stuff like that. There's some really good ones. I think Ring of Destruction is also in here. Jinzo's in here as an Ultra. We pulled that in the every special edition opening. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. It's very long. It's like a movie. Premature Burial. 
We've got the Insect Imitation. Let's see the cool cards in here. Parasite, Parasite. A lot of classic reprints. The Dust Tornado. And a Freed the Matchless General, our regular rare. We got a Mad Sword Beast. Yada Garasu, that's a good one. And we have Gillosaurus and Gemini Elf. So we did get the Yada Common, but now we are looking for something better. Retro Pack 2. Let us pull some absolute fire. Retro Pack 2 and Invasion of Chaos First Edition on a Wednesday. So, uh, pretty good midweek opening, huh? Book of Taiyu. We got the Opticlops. Melkid, the Four Faced Beast. And. Mask Restrict. And. Okay. I was like, what trap can we get? Gamma, the Magnet Warrior, a regular rare. We got another Yada Grasso. That's very nice. Playset Yada, is that going to happen right here? Okay, final Retro Pack 2. Can we get a foil? That is the goal. Get a foil. Hopefully a secret rare. Hopefully a secret rare. That would be very nice. Spirit Message L. No, the spirit message L, it's telling us, is it a sign? Bazoo the soul leader. Reckless greed, are we being too greedy here? Goblin attack force, and we gave away two goblin attack force cards in this video, so that's kind of funny. Ceasefire regular rare, and so that one was a bust. Torrential Tribute, that's a nice card. A bust of a retro pack to special edition, however... Eight more of them will be happening at 100,000. So if you're watching this video, you're not subscribed. If you enjoy the old openings, subscribe for more awesome content. And let's get into those final two packs. And here we are at the final two packs for Drew E. He sent them to the channel to be open for him, which is really awesome. Giving us some great content. Appreciate that, Drew. Let's see what we can pull for him. First edition. Let's hope they're both heavy like he thought they were. All right. I've opened maybe like one of these ever, one pack. So this is probably like one of the least amount of packs I've opened from a specific set. Chopman, the Desperate Outlaw. Yellow Luster Shield. Give us BLS, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Dark Magician of Chaos. Any of that stuff, we go crazy. Burning Algae. Ojama Black in his original first edition form. And here we go, the final card. Well, the final, well, I guess not the final card, but you know what I mean. Manticore of Darkness. So it looks like maybe they actually are heavy. This is not the ultra rare you're looking for, but it is an ultra rare, which is really cool. And that means maybe this last one has a chance as well. So Manticore of Darkness, ultra rare, first edition, Invasion of Chaos. Still really cool either way to get an ultra rare. So that's a good start. For Drew, his final cards, Jade and Sec Whistled, Sacred Client, Crane, Cursil, and Gigantus. Okay, final pack of the video. Shorter video, but epic. Short video. Can we pull a Chaos Ember Dragon? Can we break the streak and pull Black Cluster Soldier for someone else? Let's see if that works. Whew. Let's go. Second Invasion of Chaos Heavy Pack. This could be insane. Ooh, we've got the legend right at the front. The Neo Bug. Okay, there are little, if you guys can see this, there are little dings across the, uh, you guys see that? I don't know if that's a print or a ding, but it goes all the way across the first few cards. That's really interesting. We've got a salvage, so hopefully that's not on the hollow if there is a hollow. We've got the Sill Feed. Fiend's Hand Mirror, okay. I hope that's the last one. Hopefully this is a foil and is not dinged up. Please, Black Cluster Soldier, Envoy the Beginning. Hit the like button in the chat. I'm just kidding. This is not a live. Here we go. Curse of Darkness. What a troll. We got the Grandora, Soul Absorption, Begone Knave, and Amphibious Burgoth. Oh, so the first one gave us hope. The second one did not have a foil in it. However, one out of two is not too bad, even if you wait them out. And that was a lot of fun opening those old school epic packs. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Toe Info Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.
Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh! 